G'day and welcome to the guide video for the Makerverse 2 channel motor drawer. In this video, we're gonna learn how to drive small DC motors and stepper motors with this module and MicroPython. Let's get started. Out of the box, the Makerverse motor driver doesn't come with a screw terminal or header soldered to it. So in order to make connections easy, you can put a screw terminal and a screw header yourself, or if you don't have these things around, you can also solder directly to the module. Let's have a quick look at all the pins that are on the motor driver module. On the left hand side, we have direction and PWM A and direction and PWM B. The direction pin allows a microcontroller to control the polarity of the voltage that's driving the motor, in turn, driving it forwards or backwards. The PWM pins are pulse width modulation pins. These effectively allow a microcontroller to control the speed of the motor that's being driven. We also have a VM and a ground. This is a voltage input for the motor and a ground pin. Please note that the VM pin on the left is really only suited to about one amp total load. On the right hand side, I've installed a screw terminal on this module. We have the channel B outputs on the top, the channel A outputs in the middle, and a screw terminal input for bulk power for the motors on the bottom two pins. Let's do all of the wiring required to drive a single small DC motor. In this example, we're going to use a four AA battery pack to provide the power for our motor. Making sure that the battery pack is switched off, we're gonna connect it to the VM and ground pins on the right hand side screw terminal. With those two connections made, let's connect our motor. We're gonna connect this to the A channel. You might be wondering what polarity you need to connect the motor to the motor driver. In the end, we suggest just working this out by experiment. Connect the motor wires to the A pins in one polarity, see if the motor drives in the right direction, and if it doesn't spin in the right direction, just swap them over. With the battery and motor connected to the motor driver, let's get the microcontroller connections done. We'll start with the ground connection. You can use any ground pin you want on the Pico. I'm gonna use the one that's three pins in from this corner. That then goes to the motor driver on the pin labeled GND. Next, we'll do the PWMA and DER-A pins. By default, these come from GP0 and GP1 on the Raspberry Pi Pico, respectively. Next, we're ready to get programming. Find the part of the guide entitled Downloading MicroPython Modules, right-click and save as on the, on the motor driver module, and then load it onto your Raspberry Pi Pico with Thonny. Then, a little bit further down in the guide, you'll find this first example. This is basically a motor equivalent of Hello World. All it does is start the motor spinning so we can make sure everything's wired up correctly. We'll copy that code out of the guide, open up Thonny, paste that code in, and then we will save this as main.py. Pressing Control R, we'll then run this code and the motor will start spinning. But before we do that, don't forget, to turn the battery pack on. Here we go, the motor's now spinning. Now there's nothing in this code to stop the motor, so we're gonna type m1.stop in order to stop the motor manually. Let's do a slightly more advanced example. Scrolling down in the guide, you'll see the next example uses the drive method. This is a way of controlling the speed and the duration that the motor should be running. We'll find this block of code in the guide, control C to copy it into Thonny again, and then control R to run. Pressing control R, you'll see that the motor runs for one second and then stops. We can control how long the motor runs for by adjusting the second argument. Let's say we only want to run for half a second. We'll change this argument here to 500 because this is a duration of drive in milliseconds. Pressing Control R again, we'll see the motor drive for half a second and then automatically stop. Moving on to the last example, here we have a loop that slowly ramps up the speed from minus 100 to positive 100. What this does is start off at full reverse, the negative numbers in the speed imply a reverse direction, then slows down to zero, and then speeds up again in the opposite direction up to full forward. Again, we'll copy that example out of the guide, paste it into Thonny, and press Control R. A stop command at the end of the code is what makes it stop once the example is finished running. Next, we're gonna move on to driving bipolar stepper motors with the Makerverse 2 channel motor driver. We'll start by unscrewing the terminal block to remove our small DC motor and wiring in the DC stepper motor. 
To do this, we take the two phases of the stepper motor, the two coils, plug one into channel A and the other into channel B. If you don't know what polarity to use, just pick one at random and if it spins the wrong way, swap the polarity on one of the coils and this will reverse the direction of the stepper motor. With our two stepper motor coils wired up to the channels A and B on the motor driver, let's get the extra wiring on the Pico. All we need to do is add a PWM and direction signal from the Pico onto channel B on the motor driver. By default, the PWMB logic signal comes from GP2 on the Raspberry Pi Pico and the DERB comes from GP3. With all the connections made, we can switch our battery pack back on and then go to the guide and copy and paste the stepper motor example code. This example covers a couple of the crucial methods in the stepper motor class. The first one is a rotate method. This can either take a single integer argument, which will rotate a certain number of steps, or it can take a floating point angle keyword argument which will rotate the stepper motor a given angle. In order to make these two methods work, the constructor for the stepper motor class needs to take both an RPM um, to specify how fast the stepper motor can rotate and a steps per rotation so it can calculate the angle difference from one step to the next. Pressing Control R, we'll see the stepper motor rotate 50 steps in one direction, then 180 degrees in the other direction before returning to where it started when we started the code. 50 steps forward, 180 degrees in reverse, and returning back to the start position. We hope that this video has given you some cool ideas for your own projects. If you make something cool or you just have a question, leave a comment on the article for this video.